In 2003, an international nuclear task force was dispatched to Iran in order to determine if the Iranian government had been building nuclear weapons. However, at this time, no evidence was found linking the development of nuclear weapons to their other research. In November of 2011, uh, an international outcry came from the Middle East demanding a second evaluation of Iranian nuclear facilities. On, during November of 2011, the International Atomic Agency sent personnel to Iran in order to evaluate if the Iranian government had, been re, had, had decided to build new nuclear devices. Following their investigation, they submitted a, a report on Tuesday the 14th of November 2012. In this report, they definitively concluded that Iran had now started development of nuclear weapons. After researching this topic and reading countless articles from the BBC, New York Times, and other periodicals, as well as reading interviews from um, international intelligence agency personnel, I will, then, I will now talk about the, their findings as well as the international response and sanctions on this crisis. Upon arrival, the uh, International Atomic Agency personnel began to tour various nuclear facilities. In particular, a brand new nuclear facility near Qom, a, a religious holy city, uh, had been built under 300 feet of solid bedrock. In this facility, uh, uranium purification had started to take place um, at, to, at, to purify 20% uranium. Now there's a difference between uh, the uranium that's being produced there and weapons grade material. Um, the uranium that's being produced at the inside this mountain complex is 20% uranium. Uh, to weaponize it, according to uh, Belize Mitsubishi, it takes approximately two months to bring it to 90% purity, which could then be used in weapons grade material. Um, the Iranian government has stated that the material being created in this, in this facility is being used to power a small nuclear reactor uh, near Tehran in Iran. However, the International Atomic Agency commented, and I quote, they have now produced nearly enough fuel to power the Tehran research reactor for the next 20 years. This investigation also was going to take place through military facilities. However, the International Atomic Agency were, were banned by the Iranian government from entering sites such as per Perchin. Um, international sanctions have recently lifted the ban and allowed military personnel to search the site. Upon entering the site, um, military personnel found 14 different types of possible uh, nuclear delivery devices, as well as the BBC recorded investigators saying uh, they also found computer models for nuclear explosions and possible targets. <coughs> now, because past discrimination versus the International Atomic Energy Agency regarding their first 2003 um, sanction and investigation and discreditation of the association, they decided to uh, go through other government agencies and local authorities as well as look into um, lo finding local contributors before they post the research just to back up their topic and their, their research. As far as government sanction, or not, international sanctions on this uh, debate go. On the 27th of January 2012, many of the nations comprising the EU agreed to stop importing oil from Iran until this topic was sorted. On February the 6th, the US and, the, and EU both collectively agreed to stop all forms of loans to Iran uh, until this crisis is also averted. And on February 20th, Israel announced that if this crisis is not finished by it's not like, abated and Iran has decided to dismantle their nuclear weaponization facilities, that they will be forced to declare war by the end of April. Also, on the 22nd of February, the Obama administration said that a nuclearized Iran is unacceptable. In conclusion, Iran has begun an, Ira an Iranian Eurasian program in order to weaponize and create nuclear weapons. Uh, an international effort has been begun to prevent the weaponization of a nuclear Iran, and this discovery has not only grounded the U.S. effort in Iran, but has also shocked the world into action.